What's up guys? My name is Michael. I'm a Fujifilm X photographer and today we're going to talk about focal length questions. Recently I got a comment on one of my videos in which I talked about lenses. The question was, can you please explain if the focal length that, I'm, that I was talking about, if that focal length is the same on a Fuji like on a Canon. And um, I think that is a topic that a lot of people get confused about. In order to, to understand what a focal length and the uh, resulting field of view really means, uh, it's important to talk about different camera systems and camera sensor sizes. Now you might have heard the term full frame. Full frame refers to the image that you got out of a film camera and you still get, you know, film cameras are not dead, but film full format means that your image is, or your sensor is 36 millimeters by 24 millimeters. When digital photography um, became more popular or was invented, let's, let's call it like that, image sensors were smaller than that full format. And the term crop sensor comes exactly from that fact that the sensor is smaller than the full format. So most cameras have a crop factor of 1.5. That means if your full format sensor or film format is 24 by 36 millimeters and you crop that by a factor of 1.5 then you get a smaller format. Now that format is most of the times APS-C. Now APS-C means that your sensor is smaller than the full frame and that is not a problem but it implies two things. First is that your camera cannot see everything that a lens that is made for full frame produces. Imagine it like this. You have a wide angle lens that produces a image that is made for the full frame sensor. So this image is at least Let's, let's call it like this. It's at least as big as this. Now in reality it's like this, but to show you. Now your sensor is smaller, which means your sensor won't see the whole field of view that this lens will give you. So in order to get that field of view that you would get on a full frame sensor, you would need a focal length that is much shorter or in other words, you would need a lens that is much wider. And the factor is 1.5 for most camera systems. So focal length does not only mean your field of view, but it's also about the compression of your perspective. So if you get a long telephoto lens, your, your, your foreground and background will be compressed and um, you will still get the, the feeling of that uh, focal length, but you will get a cropped image. So your physical focal length is still the same. But if you want to have the same field of view, you will need to multiply or divide, depending on from which side you see it, that focal length by your crop factor. Now let's make an example. Now if I have a full frame camera, just like the Canon 5D for example, and I put a 50 millimeter lens on it, I will get a certain field of view. In order to get the same field of view on a APS-C camera, for example, all the Fuji cameras except the GFX, which is a medium format, and we're gonna talk about that later. So if I put, if I wanna have that, field of view on an APS-C camera, 
like the X-H1, X-T2, X-T3. I will need a focal length that is by a factor of 1.5 wider. That will be a 35 millimeter lens. So in fact you get the focal length of 35 millimeter but the field of view will be the same like the field of view you get on a 50 millimeter lens on a full frame camera. If we had a camera with a bigger sensor like we have in medium format, for example I do have a phase one camera which has about four times the sensor area of a full frame camera, then actually I would need an 80 millimeter lens to get the same field of view. So I need to have a longer focal length than on full frame. And on APS-C I would need an even wider lens. So just to sum that up, to get the same field of view I need a 35 on the Fuji, I need a 50 on the Canon 5D and I need an 80 millimeter lens on my phase one. So I have different focal lengths, but I have the same field of view. So if we're going to talk about a focal length, you should always make sure if you talk about the full frame equivalent focal length, or if you really talk about the physical focal length that this lens has. For example, I have the 23 millimeter a 1.4 Fuji lens right here and in order to get this field of view on a full frame camera I would use a 35 millimeter lens but uh, because I have a cropped sensor I need a more wide angle lens to get the same field of view but actually this is a 23 millimeter focal length don't talk about it as if it was a 35 millimeter focal length. It only gives you the field of view of a 35 on full frame. So after all, I hope this didn't confuse you too much and it helped you understand focal length, crop factor and the differences between the APS-C sensor and the full frame sensor. Leave a comment if you liked this video. Also hit the like button, subscribe to my channel and see you next time. Thanks for watching. Have a good day. Bye.